Hi everyone, welcome to WeDraw Studio. Today, we are going to talk about Pansy. So now let's get straight to it. Pansy is an amazing flower belong to the Violaceae family. It is a part of the large viola genus containing more than 500 species. It has a scientific name of Viola tricolor hortensis or Viola x Widrockiana, characterized by five, rounded, overlapping petals and a wide range of colors. Most pansies can grow up to 8 to 10 inches tall and are covered with oval or heart-shaped, dark green, shiny foliage. Some pansies are in solid hues of bright yellow, orange, purple, pink, crimson, white, and blue, while others display combinations of multiple colors. In general, pansies come in three different patterns. One variety has single color without patterns, which are often yellow or blue. The second pattern is a single color with black lines radiating from the center. These lines are called penciling and are similar to viola markings. The last type is probably the most well known of pansy. This variety has a dark splotch from the center creating a face-like appearance. They are often tri-colored. Did you know that in the language of flowers, pansy represents the thoughts of lovers? The name pansy is derived from the French word pensé, meaning thought or remembrance. It was imported from France into late Middle English in the mid-15th century as a name of viola. The flowers were a symbol of thought in the Victorian era. Also, it was so named because the flower resembles a human face. In mid to late summer, it nods forward as if deep in thought. Furthermore, pansies are known by different names. Heartsease was given by the people from St. Euprasia, whose name in Greek signifies the cheerfulness of mind. In countries like Scandinavia, Scotland, and Germany, pansies were called stepmother following the folktales of a selfish stepmother. In Italy, the pansy is known as flamola, which means little flame. Whereas in the US, pansies are often called Johnny Jump Up, as they tend to self-seed and can spread throughout the garden themselves. Did you know that not all pansies have a scent? Some varieties are known for their pleasant fragrance, while others don't have a noticeable scent at all. Yellow and blue pansies seem to have the strongest scent, with the scent being the most obvious early in the morning or at dusk. Pansies are one of the oldest cultivated flowers in history. The ancient Greeks considered it as a symbol of fertility and love, and used it in love potions. This was further referred in William Shakespeare's literature, A Midsummer Night's Dream, that the juice of a pansy was used in a love potion. Being the flower for the birth month of February, pansies represents open-minded and imaginative. Purple pansies are the most popular, which plays off the hue of February's birthstone, the amethyst. Both the leaves and flowers of pansies are edible and high in vitamins A and C. The minty flavor of its petals makes them ideal for flavored honey, syrup, and natural food coloring. Pansies can be used in potpourri, cake decorations, and cocktail garnishing. Also as topping over pancakes, sorbet, ice cream, and shaved ice. It is said that pansies contain antifungal and antibacterial properties that can be applied topically to ease skin irritation and inflammation such as eczema. In national home remedies, the flowers are steeped into teas and used to soothe coughs and sore throats. The teas also help to relieve frequent urination and clear up bladder infection. These days, pansies are still continually hybridized and crossbred to produce better, new varieties for the global market. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.